Hi all. So we are discussing homework one solutions, and these questions are from Peterlin chapter one. Now let's see this question number eleven. All the previous questions from question number one to question number ten we have already seen in the previous videos. You can find link of the playlist in the description. Okay, so just check out the description. You will find the complete playlist link. Okay, so in this playlist we are discussing the homework questions of TOC of Go classes TOC homework questions we are discussing. Now let's see this question. Question number eleven. In this question we have to prove or disprove these two claims. Okay, this part one. This is saying L one union L two reverse is equal to L one reverse union L two reverse. So let's see this. So let's see the part one. So let me see the part one. Before we see the part one, let me tell you that whenever you want to prove that two set are equal, if you have two set A comma B and you want to prove that A equal to B, then what you need to do? If you want to prove, if you want to prove, so if you want to show, if you want to prove that A equal to B two set you have, then what you have to do? You have to prove th two things. Two things you have to prove that A subset of B. These two things you have to prove that. A subset of B means every element of A is also element of B, and you have to prove that every element of B is also element of A. So these two things you have to prove. Okay, if you want to prove that A equal to B, two set are equal. If you want to prove this, then what you have to do? You have to prove this A is subset of B, that every element of A is also in B, and also every element of B is also in A. This is what you have to prove. Now let me prove the this uh, part one. This part one. Part A. This is saying that this is what we have to prove that L1 union L2 whole reverse. This is equal to this is equal to L1 reverse union L2 reverse. This is what we have to prove. Let me call it LHS. Let me call it LHS. Let me call it RHS. Okay. This is what I am calling it. Now, first, what I will do? I will prove that every string of LHS is also in RHS. So this is what I will do first. First, I will prove that LHS is a subset of RHS. Means what it means? What it means? It means that if any if any string you take, it means that if any string belongs to LHS, if any string belongs to LHS, then it also belongs to RHS. This string also belongs to RHS. This is what I need to prove. Okay, this is what I will prove that if any string belongs to LHS, if every if any string have is here. Then that string is definitely here. This is what I will prove, and after that I will prove that RHS is subset of LHS. After that I will prove RHS is subset of LHS means means what it means. It means that if any string, okay, if any string, for example, if any string belongs to RHS, then that string also belongs to LHS. So these two things I have to prove. I have to prove this, and I have to prove this. So these two things I have to prove. So let's start with the first one. So the first one, let me prove. Means this LHS is subset of RHS. Means if some string belongs to LHS, let us assume some string belongs to LHS. So let's assume some string W belongs to LHS. Some string uh, W belongs to L1 union L2 whole reverse. Now we already know that if some string belongs to L reverse, you already know that if some string, just tell me, if some string belongs to L reverse, then what will happen? Then it means that its reverse. Its reverse belongs to L. If okay, be, because if W belongs to L reverse, then what will happen? In this L reverse, if you have W, in this L reverse, if you have W, then what will happen in L? What will happen in L? In L, this W reverse will be there. Okay, so this this okay this will happen. So if W belongs to L reverse, then W reverse will belong to L. So similarly here, I am assuming what I am doing. I want to prove that LHS is subset of RHS. I want to prove that if any string belongs to LHS, then it also belongs to RHS. This is what I want to prove. So let me assume that some string W belongs to LHS. This string belongs to this LHS. If this string belongs to this, then then what it means? Then what it means? Then it means W reverse belongs to L1 union L2. Okay, because you know that if W belongs to L reverse, if this string W belongs to L reverse, then what will happen? Then W reverse will belong to L. Okay, so this will happen. So I can say if W belongs to L1 union L2 reverse, then W reverse will belong to L1 union L2. Okay, now W reverse belongs to L1 union L2. This is union. What it means? It means that it means that either W reverse belongs to L1, either W reverse belongs to L1, or W reverse belongs to L2. Okay, 
either this w reverse either this belongs to l1 or it belongs to l2 or both okay either either belongs to l1 or belongs to l2 or both now you can notice that if w reverse belongs to l1 then what will happen okay i one of them will happen see at least one of them will happen either w reverse will belong to l1 or it will belong to l2 or both or both now you can notice that whatever happens if any of them happens then what will happen okay like for example either this happens or this happens or both happen but what i am saying i am saying that if any of them happens if any of them whether this happens or this happens whatever happens what i can say i can say that if dub for example let's assume this happens by symmetry you can also say that this also okay by symmetry you can handle this what i am saying i am saying that let us assume this happens okay if this happens then w reverse belongs to l2 it means what it means w belongs to l2 reverse okay w belongs to l2 reverse what it means w belongs to l2 reverse then i can say w belongs to l2 reverse union l1 reverse okay because these things we already know these things we already know that if some string belongs if some if some element belongs to a if some element belongs to a then i can say that this element also belongs to a union b if some element is already in a if this x is already in a then this x is also in a union b so this is what i can say similarly you can notice if w belongs to l2 reverse then i can say that w also belongs to l2 reverse union l1 reverse this is what we wanted to prove so what we have proven we have proven that w belongs to rhs so if w belongs to lhs if w belongs to if w belongs to lhs then it also belongs to rhs hence it, okay so hence what we have done we have proven this so this we have proven so this first result we have proven we have proven that if some if some string belongs to lhs then it also belongs to rhs this is what we have proven okay now let's see the second part the second part means now we have to prove that rhs is subset of lhs now we want to prove that rhs is subset of lhs this is what we want to prove what is rhs rhs means l1 reverse union l2 reverse this is a subset of l1 union l2 reverse this is what i want to prove okay means this is subset of this this is what i want to prove this is your rhs rhs is subset of lhs this is what i want to prove so very simple basically i want to prove that if any string belongs to this set then it also belongs to this set so let me assume that some string belongs to this set let me assume this string x belongs to this set if x belongs to this set then what will happen if x belongs to this set x belongs to this union this then from this i can say that x belongs to at least one of them x belongs to at least one of them so without loss of generality basically sim symmetry okay there is symmetry here x belongs to this okay so i can say x belongs to this or x belongs to this okay so i can say x belongs to l1 reverse or x belongs to x belongs to l1 reverse or x belongs to l2 reverse at least one of them will happen or both of them will happen at least one of them will happen now if this happens like okay if this happens like l x belongs to l1 reverse then what it means it means x reverse belongs to l1 it means x reverse belongs to l1 okay because x belongs to l1 reverse so it means x reverse belongs to l1 if x reverse belongs to l1 then i can say that x reverse also belongs to l1 union l2 okay so x reverse because x reverse belongs to l1 so i can say x reverse also belongs to l1 union l2 because remember if x reverse is in l is in l1 then automatically it will be in l1 union l2 if x reverse belongs to l1 union l2 then what will happen x reverse belongs to l1 union l2 then what will happen then i can say that x belongs to l1 union l2 whole reverse because you already know that if w belongs to l reverse then w reverse will belong to l so from this i can say if x reverse belongs to l1 union l2 then x will belong to l1 union l2 whole reverse and this is what we have done and this is what we have done we have proven that x belongs to we have proven that x belongs to lhs okay so what we have done if x belongs to rhs then x also belongs to lhs if x belongs to rhs this is your rhs if x belongs to this set then it also belongs to this set so what we have done we have proven the second thing also so this is what we have done this is also we have proven so remember means this is a subset of this and this is a subset of this 
means both are subset of each other every element of this set is also element of this set and also every string of this set is also a string of this set so both are equal and this is the proof so we have proven part a so this part a is done okay now similarly you can prove the part b that is l reverse star is equal to l star reverse let me prove it okay this part number b let me tell you part number b what is this this is saying that l reverse whole star is equal to l star whole reverse so let's see how to prove it again again the same thing first i will prove that every string that is here that is also here means every string here is here and then i will prove that every string that is here that is also here this is what i will prove so let me prove that every string here is also in rhs so let me prove this first so let me let me prove this first what i will do i will prove that if any string belongs to l reverse whole star if any string belongs here then that also belongs here this is what i will prove first okay so this is what i will prove first that if any string i want to prove that if any string belongs to this okay so what i want to prove basically first i want to prove this first i want to prove that this is what i want to prove that if any string if any string belongs to l reverse whole star then that also belongs to then that also belongs to l star whole reverse okay so how to prove this very simple first you assume that l this l is a language so this is a set of strings so in this l in this l let's assume you have some strings in this l you have some strings let's assume for example maybe x y z and so on so these strings you have in l let's assume okay so this l is a language so let us assume these strings you have in l if these strings are in l then what type of strings will be in the l reverse in l reverse you have this type of strings x x reverse y reverse z reverse this type of strings you have in l reverse now which type of strings will be in l reverse whole star which type of strings will be in l reverse whole star in l reverse whole star which type of strings will be there so in this l reverse whole star remember this is your l reverse so which type of strings will be there in this l reverse whole star so this type of strings will be there like this type of strings like x reverse y reverse z reverse and so on okay this type of strings will be there in x l reverse whole star okay this type of strings now what we have to prove we have to prove that this string belongs to l reverse whole star can i prove can you prove that this also belongs to l star whole reverse can you prove that this also belongs to l star whole reverse can you prove this of course you can prove because you can notice that because you can notice that if this is your l then what is your l star if this is your l remember if this is your l then what is your l star l star will l star will have this type of strings in l star you will have this type of strings like in l star you have this type of this string is definitely there okay see see what i am saying i am saying that i am saying that i want to prove that this string also belongs here this is what i want to prove i want to prove that this string also belongs here now you can notice if this is your language l then in language l star in l star definitely this string is there definitely this string is there this string is in l star then in l star whole reverse what will happen in l star whole reverse what will happen in okay remember this is this string is in l star so in l star whole reverse what will happen this string will be there this string will be there in l star whole reverse okay and what is this this is nothing but x reverse y reverse z reverse so what we have proven what we have proven we have proven that if this string is here then definitely this string is also here this is what we have proven okay very simple and similarly you can prove that if any string belongs here then that will also belong here because remember if any string is here okay then that string will look like this if any string is here for example what i am saying that if any string remember your l is like this your l uh, l is w x y z and some something now if any string belongs to l star whole reverse so which type of strings you will have in this l star whole reverse give me one demo so in this first of all in this l star first of all the in this l star what type of strings will be there this type of string will be there in l star for example i can say in l star i can say x y z okay this type of string will be there in the l star so in l star whole reverse which type of string will be there whole reverse 
okay so if you do the reverse of this then you will get z reverse y reverse x reverse okay so this type of string this type of string will you you will get in l star whole reverse and you can notice that this string is this string is also part of l l reverse whole star this string you also have here you this string you can have here because this is your l reverse l reverse is this then definitely remember your l reverse is what your l reverse is x reverse y reverse z reverse and so on this is your l reverse so in l reverse whole star we can definitely get this string this string we can definitely get in l star l reverse whole star this is your l reverse so if you do the whole star then of course you can get this type of string like z reverse y reverse x reverse this string definitely i can get so this is what we have done we have proven that we have proven that these two are okay every string that is here that is also here and every string that is here that is also here so this is what we have proven okay so this actually proof is very simple i hope you understood let me just tell you again okay quickly let me tell you again so this is the question that l star whole reverse that is same as l reverse whole star okay this is a very simple question let me tell you why this is a very simple question okay and the proof is actually very easy so let me tell you the structure of these two let me tell you see if you take any l if you take any l for example w1 okay let's assume you take any l w1 w2 w3 if you take any l then what will what will be the structure of this l star whole reverse okay so first let me tell you what will happen in l star in l star what will happen if this is your l w1 w2 these are the strings in l then what will happen in l star in l star this type of strings will be there like w1 w2 w3 w4 okay and so on this type of string will be there in the l star in l star whole reverse which type of string will be there in l star whole reverse in this this type of string will be there so you will do the reverse of this l star whole reverse you will do the reverse of this so the reverse of this what that will be the reverse of this that will be w4 reverse w3 reverse w2 reverse w1 reverse okay so you can notice that this type of string you have in l this this string you have in l star whole reverse so this is the template this is the template of l star whole reverse okay so you have this type of strings you have this type of strings in l star whole reverse now the same pattern you have in l reverse whole star the same pattern because in l reverse what will happen in l reverse this will happen w1 reverse w2 reverse w3 reverse w4 reverse and so on this will happen in l star l reverse now in l reverse whole star you can notice that basically the star of this basically the star of this language this is your l reverse the star of this language so the star of this language definitely you can create this type of string like w4 reverse w3 reverse w2 reverse w1 reverse of course you can create this type of string so you can notice that this string you can create here also this string you can create here also so what i am saying i am saying that every string that you have here that you can also create here okay this is what i am saying i am saying that every string that you have here okay every string here you can also create here every string every string of this language every string of this language you can also create here and every string of this language you can also create here so that is the reason both are same okay this is your question number so in this petalins question number 11 so we have done part a part b okay so all these things we have seen so remember this this is your uh petalins lecture uh petalins chapter one questions okay petalins chapter one questions we have seen okay uh, all the remaining questions that we will see once we study the remaining topics but these are the questions on the basic concepts on the basic terminology of toc so let me tell you some important results that we have seen let me conclude let me conclude that some important results that we have seen some important results that we have already seen so what are the results we have seen we have seen that if you do reverse of reverse if you have any string it's reverse then if you again do the reverse then you will get the same string okay you have a string if you do the reverse then again you do the reverse then you will get the same string also we have seen that also we have seen that if you have like w x reverse then what that will be that will be x reverse w reverse this also we have seen also we have seen what is the cardinality 
of what is the cardinality of w power n that will be n times cardinality of w okay this we have seen the fourth result important result that we have seen is that l1 l2 reverse if you have any two languages l1 l2 then their reverse will be equal to l2 reverse l1 reverse that also we have seen these results we have seen the fifth result that we have seen that is that is l star l star that is equal to l star this result we have seen and we have seen that basically any number of times you do l star l star l star l star l star four times five times any number of times you do l star power n l star power n that will be equal to l star where n is greater than equal to where n is greater than equal to one remember because if n is greater than if remember if you do if n is zero if n is zero this will this will be okay this will be set containing empty string because remember this is a language i told you remember this is a language okay this is a language and you know that every language whatever this is a language let's call it m now you know that every language power zero that is set containing empty string this we already know any language whatever language you take any language power zero will be set containing empty string so this result we have seen l star l star is l star l star power n where n is greater than equal to one so l star power any number of uh, any any power you can make any positive power you can make that will be l star and we have seen l star whole star will be equal to l star l star whole star will be equal to l star and some more results that we have seen okay so fifth then sixth some more results that we have seen we have seen that if you do l star then you do reverse then that is same as you do reverse then you do star okay this result we have seen some more results we have seen for example l1 union l2 reverse l1 union l2 reverse that is equal to l1 reverse union l2 reverse okay so these these are some of the results that we have seen some more results we have seen you can check it out okay so uh, so these things are very easy okay so 11 questions we have done in the peter lynch peter lynch like uh, chapter number 1 11 questions we have done and i hope you understood all of them okay so if you have any doubt you can comment and please also comment if you understood all the 11 questions just comment okay so if you understood all the 11 questions if you understood okay if you understood all the 11 questions if you understood then comment that you have understood okay comment that you have understood so you can write i have understood all the 11 questions okay this comment you can make i have understood all the 11 questions okay so make a comment that you have understood all the questions and if you have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment i will answer it okay so don't worry about it whatever doubt you have just ask your doubt in the comment i will answer it okay okay so we will see more questions of theory of computation remember in this theory of computation we will see a lot of questions all the standard resources questions get relevant standard resources questions we will solve uh, in this playlist in this playlist we will definitely solve all the get relevant standard resources questions so you can subscribe to the youtube channel okay subscribe to the get go classes youtube channel if you want quality material okay if you want to solve all these get relevant standard questions if you want to solve okay then you should uh, subscribe to the go classes youtube channel and you can like this video and you can share this playlist you can share these videos with your friends okay so <clears throat> yeah okay thank you everyone thank you